The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Bookmap Pro Trader webinar series. Uh, today we have Fausto Pugliese from uh, Cyber Trading University. Uh, we've had him a couple times before here, so uh, looking forward to the presentation. Uh, Fausto is the CEO of Cyber Trading University and one of the early uh, SOS bandits who, um, uh, you know, they, they dominated uh, trading the NASDAQ stocks back in the 1990s. Uh, after uh, semi-retiring as a successful trader in his early 20s, Fausto developed his own trading school. Uh, Fausto is a 12-time champion of the Money Shows Traders Challenge, in, challenge which I've seen him uh, win as well, uh, and is known for his uh, live trading events uh, where he gets to prove how well his trading methods work in real time. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Here's the contact information for Bookmap if you're interested. Now, here's the contact information for Fausto. Uh, as, uh, as usual here, I uh, will copy and paste all of this into the chat for you. Okay, so uh, here it is here. Um, and uh, uh, you should see it there so that uh, you can uh, uh, access uh, in his, his website, his email, uh, he has a free trial here, uh, and then uh, special offers that he, he offers from Bookmap. Okay, so uh, let's uh, just jump right in, and without further ado, let me just uh, give it over here to Fausto. All right, thank you very much, Bruce. Hold on, let me just get to share the screen. There we go. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Bookmap uh, members. Uh, let me just get a little chat back if you guys could hear me loud and clear. Jeffrey, Jerry, good to see you. All right. Everyone else? Are you there, Tom? All right. Good to see you, Taz. Perfect. All right. Good, good, good. Well, listen, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Bookmap and Bruce for having me here again. Let me tell you, uh, regarding about the Bookmap, I mean, you know, I want to get right into the training part of it, but I think a lot of us should kind of understand the value of what, why I'm here and why I'm helping promoting Bookmap. And I just want to kind of just touch upon something very important. Uh, I don't need to do an intro. Bruce did it. If you know my history, that's great. You know, I want you to understand that um, I've been teaching for over 25 years. I live here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world. And I work for some of the best trading day trading firms in the world. Now, the reason why I bring that up is that when I started, um, I learned on something called uh, NASDAQ Workstation 2. And uh, if you go to my website, you'll see I did a, I'm a frequent guest on the NASDAQ uh, on their show talking about NASDAQ Total View. Now, I'm always getting approached on, you know, Fausto, you got to look at this platform. Fausto, you got to look at that platform. Fausto, Fausto, you got to look at – and honestly, every single one of them is a lagger, okay? But I could tell you this. I – the way I was trained is that you have to follow the money. That's basically it. You just follow the money. And back then, we had an internet machine, and level two was – technically was level two, and it was good back then. But it got outdated in the late 90s. And, um, you know, and so I've been using NASDAQ Total View. And I do a lot of presentations. And when I when I start talking about it, it's a light bulb. It really is a light bulb. People will come out of right like, oh my God, this actually makes sense. And then I had this little little thing I tell people, well, guess what? There's something even better than NASDAQ Total View. It's called Bookmap. And when Bookmap originally approached me, um, actually I didn't they didn't approach me, I approached them. Because I've been trading for so many years, and I have some unbelievable traders in my room. And they, and one of my traders said, Fausto, you got to check out this platform. It's everything you teach. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to waste my time with it. You know, I, I see these things. I see hundreds of them. They're all junk. He goes, no, 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 no. You got to check this one out. And the only reason why I checked it out is because some of the traders in my room are are, are high seven-figure traders. And they're like, no, Fausto, I'm making a lot of money with this thing. You got to use it. I'm like, okay, let me let me check it out. Because, you know, because, and I did, and I'm like, holy crap, this is everything that I was looking for. And I actually even try to build it myself, but I'm not a programmer. So I teamed up with Bookmap, and I am 100, 1,000% 1, 
backing this product because it's we use it every single day. Honestly, I can't trade without it. I really can't, okay? There are other platforms that we use, but what this does is just hands down unbelievable. Now, what I'm about to show you everyone today is I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show you how I use the platform, how, do, how I utilize it. And I know we have a lot of different types of traders here, so I'll try to do the best I can to accommodate, you know, beginners, intermediates, advanced, and experts, which is I have a question to ask everyone because I've been here a few times and I've got some very good feedback and I have not got so many very good feedback due to a way I approach things. So, and this is the only reason why. I need to know exactly who's in this room. So, can everyone just give me a chat back in this room? Let me know, are you a beginner on Bookmap? Are you an intermediate, advanced, expert? Just wanna get a kind of feel of the experience of, of Bookmap uh, people that are in here right now. Okay, Mark, you're a beginner. Robert, beginner. Intermediate, beginner. Last week, you just started, Chuck. Can't trade without it, Tom. My God, you do like music to my ears. Retail futures on traders. Beginner, intermediate, just started. Okay, we only got about two advanced. Eric and Robert advanced. Okay. All right, so got a couple of advanced. All right, so we do got a lot more beginners and intermediates, which is great, and that's why we're here. And um, so I want to I want to go over the, the ways I utilize it, and then hopefully some of you advanced people will kind of see a little bit more of the other things that we do with it. Okay, so that that's 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 very important to me. All right. So anyway, did anyone trade um, IMRN? Did anybody see the stock IMRN? Hey Grant, good to see you. The cyber trader, a student of ours. Anybody here? We traded it yesterday. Okay. No one traded this stock. Come on, guys. What are you afraid? <laughs> Don't be scared. No one's gonna. No one's gonna get mad at you. No one's. No one's some of you did see it. Okay, yeah. The stock went from like, you could see here 11 o'clock. Hold on, let me get my pointer out here so you guys can follow along. So the stock went from like $6 at 11 o'clock. And then from 12 o'clock, it shot to 18. Did nothing. And then right at the close, which is where we trade the, mo the first hour and the last hour, the stock ran from uh, literally 14 and went all the way to almost $30. Huge winner, okay? And by the way, I'm not here to talk about the winners. I know there's losers. Everybody's like, you talk about the winners, about the losers. Listen, the point is this. I'm not here to brag and put feathers in my cap and tell you I'm the best. What I'm here to do is, is to explain to you why did the stock go up and how do we know it was going to continue to go up? Because we utilize the book map platform, okay? That's where it comes down to it. And there's a lot more out there, okay? This is just one of several that we traded. So I just want to kind of just let you know what our style is. Now, first of all, um, I know that there's futures traders, Forex traders, uh, cryptos, and day traders, stock traders. I, I'm just going to let you know, guys, don't ask me about futures, okay? Don't ask me about cryptocurrency, this and that. I am not any of those. I'm not a jack of all trades. I am a day trader. I'm a stock day trader. And that's what this presentation is about. Um, but you could see it, you could utilize it for everything. And me personally, I always tell everybody, every single one of you should know how all the markets work. Okay. Especially if you're not making money within 30 days after trading that market, you shouldn't be, you should maybe consider doing a different market. Now, but before we do that, um, I want you to know, how do we find I, I, IMRN? Now, as a day trader, I don't care what I trade. I don't want to know what I trade. It, 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 it just doesn't matter what I trade. All I'm here to do is make money. That's it. I'm here to make money, and that's why I'm here to trade. And that's what I'm here to teach you guys. I'm here to teach you guys how to go out there and find stocks that give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward and by utilizing the book map. So remember, the book map is the last tool of all the tools in the toolbox, okay? You can't use Bookmap if you don't even know what you're trading. You understand? It's all about risk to reward. So hope um, for some of you here, if you ever watched us, um, you know, listen, I'm on YouTube Live every single morning for free, everybody there, and you'll see me utilize and showing you the stocks I find and, ha and what's going on in Bookmap. But this is my, this is my little secret here. I just trade, I just go through the big percentage gainers and losers. 
That's it. And you can see like here, here's, you know, the biggest percentage gainer of the day up 354% is IMRN. And then there's also a warrant. There were other stocks out there. Uh, there was a stock right here, SQBG, up 127%. But it's a 29 cent stock. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't like to trade stocks under a dollar because you deal with tenths of a penny. And I'm not, I'm not a penny stock guy. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of hard to see a lot of the orders out there. But there were a lot of them out there that were good. Naked, great stock. Stocks, uh, that one moved, you know, after it broke 24 cents. Now the stock is, I mean, once they break a dollar, they're doing great. NAKD, uh, literally ran to almost a buck 60 today. Uh, Solo, uh, I mean, uh, NKLA, that was another nice one, up 26%. Um, so there were a lot of stocks in here that were up pretty big, that had good volume. Now, huge pop just in minutes before 9.30 opening bell. IMRN. How did we find IMRN? This stock ran to 30. Look what happened here. 830. Stock hovering, hovering, hovering. And then all of a sudden started picking some momentum. And then, then we got around 920. We got to $3, $4. And then bam, we went to 11. All right. Right before the bell. By the way, do any of you guys trade in pre-market? Anybody here trade pre-market? If you don't trade in pre-market, you're, you're missing it all. I mean, you can't expect to come here in the morning and just say, oh, I, I got till 930, so let me go uh, Let me go hit the bathroom, let me a cup of coffee. No, no, it doesn't work that way. We actually start trading at 745 Eastern Standard Time to get the, the 8 o'clock move. So, And then the book map, which is great because you can go back and you could look within 24 hours and see what happened yesterday. So anyway, getting back to having a game plan. What's the trend and where are the strongest price levels? That's all we're looking at. Remember, we're here to make money. That's all you have to remember. So let's look at the bookmap platform now. Now that we kind of found this stock, now we need to know exactly how to utilize it. All right. So this might be a little advanced for some of you beginner people here. But hopefully I'm going to hit the intermediate and advanced. But let me kind of show you the value of the book map. Yeah, Fausto, um, just just go for it um, with the advanced. Um, uh, you know, we, we'll we'll go through the training in our daily webinars, et cetera. Okay. Uh, and okay, no problem. Just uh, yeah, full full on here. Uh, and, okay. Uh, dive in, please. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So <laughs> you're more than welcome. So anyway, uh, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to hit all corners of it. Uh, you, you'd be shocked. I still have people ask me today, um, what is a limit order and a market order? And, they, and they're trading the market. I'm like, are you serious? I mean, but <laughs> it happens. So anyway, on here in the book map, you could see here, we got the dots, we got the lines, we got everything. So the thing is this, there, there are, it, the heat map is just not just the most value part of the tool. It's over here on the right. You got the COB, you got the CVP. Now the COB, what I utilize is this. This basically tells me where all the orders are. Now, all these orders are aggregated, okay? So, you know, and, and not only that, I, you know, I helped, uh, I helped Bookmap team up with TradeStation. So you're gonna be getting some data feeds that are gonna be less money and also incorporate into your platform, which has been a great, great, great deal for Bookmap and also for TradeStation. So some of you probably know that some of these fees get expensive when you add all these ECN fees. But anyway, getting back to here, these right here are aggregated. What that means is this. Remember I told you about NASDAQ total view? Well, that's only one book. That is only one ECN, okay? There are other books out there. There is New York Stock Exchange, Archipelago, EDGX, BATS, you know, uh, th there are a lot of them. So you could aggregate more orders out there. So you're not seeing like, you know, 500, if, 5,000 shares on NASDAQ, uh, 300 shares on EDGX. They're all aggregated, which is great. Now, the heat map, obviously, what, what the first thing you look at is forget about the bulls and everything else. The biggest, most important thing you want to look at is at these, re these, these lines. These lines right away that come to you, come to, you to kind of give you a, uh, let you know where the orders are, and which is right here. 
you could see the orders. Um, and you could see the, you get these little, these reds and, and greens. So the greens are buys, the reds are sells, okay? So you get to see, you know, when you're looking at a chart and you're looking at, uh, let me give you an example. Let me bring Naked over here, okay? So when you're looking at this, you know, you're looking at it, okay, um, hold on, let me, let me fix my pointer here. Uh, Mark says these graphs are not easy to follow. That's my point. That's why I want to go to. That's why I'm going to go to a. Uh, I want to go to a. A regular chart. So, here's my trend line, and you can see right here on naked. You know, here's your support, and here's your resistance. Okay, you got resistance and support levels, and you got support levels everywhere. But you got to understand something. These support levels. Hold on, let me bring up my platform too. Do we get naked in here? No. Okay. So these support and resistance levels are made from buyers and sellers. Unfortunately, supports and resistance levels get broken all the time. All the time. How do they get broken? Because orders get executed, but you need to have a game plan. Now When I, uh, hold on, I gotta fix my book map here. So I'm gonna bring a book map over here and I'm gonna click on the plus sign. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add naked and I'm also I'm gonna click on, um, I don't wanna go two pack. Uh, I'm gonna look at six hours. So it's gonna show me six hours of historical data. So I'm gonna click subscribe and it's gonna load up the data right here, okay? So I'm just giving it, let it just upload. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to zoom, I'm going to move my mouse, I'm going to zoom out, okay? So you can see here at 9.30, you have orders right here, okay? Now you'll notice that the darker reds are orders that are out there, and then you'll have some blues and blacks, means there's not too many orders out there, okay? The problem with this is this. The COB is telling you what's out there now. The um, When I show you the CVP, this is telling you what was out there of the, the duration of the stock, which makes things a little bit easier. Like right here, we're looking at NKLA, which I don't know if you guys know, that's a stock we've been trading for the past week already. We're killing it with this stock. Um, today's the first day that's on its way back up. But the thing is, how do you find these stocks? How do you trade them? Just like we're looking at Zoom right now. You see the resistance levels here. Order gets filled, testing another resistance. Order gets filled, you're looking at the next resistance. So the thing is, we need to know how to follow the dominating market makers. So the COB is a very important tool because it tells you exactly how many shares are outstanding. Now for me, 300 shares is not a substantial resistance, not even 1,000. But when you see 9,000 at $11, 10,000 at 11.20, that is a resistance levels. That's what makes it. And then when you're looking down here at the bottom, where the support level was at 960, you know, that, and you see that big red line, that was a major support level. But then what I want to talk about is this. You see how the line disappears right there? That means a guy must have canceled his order. He's not there. And that's what the, CV, uh, the CVP does. All right. So let me change the slide here. I am, uh, IMRN holds under 1150 resistance. Okay. So you can see right here how the stock went up. Um, the greens are the buys. Obviously, the reds are the sells. Those are transactions. The bigger the ball the more volume that's being traded, which by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you something else what I do on Bookmap um, to kind of eliminate a lot of these bowls because after a while, then it just becomes almost like a, a line. But when you see right here, you got resistance levels. You can see my little dot right here and you can see all these big orders out here. Look, 12,000 shares here at $12, but you had another right here, 6,000. But you know, you can see the, how it kind of dies out and then you got the support levels right here 
10, uh, at ten dollars, thirteen thousand shares. But the big thing is the SVP. The SVP there was six, there was one hundred and sixty-two thousand shares of the duration of the stock. What does that really mean? No, uh, How does that actually work? Fausto, those yeah. are those are transactions. Um, so it's just a volume profile. So right. It, okay. Would that that's what I was leading to. Those are vol that's volume that that has happened and transactions have taken place. Am I am I right? Correct. Bruce? Okay. But the thing is that is the that is the um uh the accumulation of the duration of how long I had this chart up for. So if I do a a 24 hour chart, it's gonna show me all those transactions that took place. This one is only telling me what's out there now. So sometimes, you know, you might see an order out there you might not see an order out there but you might come up to a svp order and be like you know what i might not see these big red bars out there like over here but then all of a sudden like you know what there were that people own that stock for a while let, let me kind of put it in layman terms envision you you're building a building okay and what do you have in a building you got floors and ceilings right so think about a floor and ceiling is being built by concrete, okay? Now, when you walk a barrel of concrete, you're pouring it, you're spreading it out. But if I stop and I keep pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring, guess what? That, that, that spot is gonna be a very thick support level that's gonna be broken. Now, the difference between one and the other, that's somebody pouring now, that is someone who poured before. So if they're not still pouring out there anymore, he could, it could still be a support level. And that is the power of using the book map and how I use the COB and the SVP. Here's another example. This is actually a better example to explain it. You see how MRN, MRNN, um, hold on, let me get my point there. How it broke a support level right here at $10. OK, so you could see there's no buyers out here, but there were a lot of transactions over almost a quarter million shares that were traded there. But he's not there now. He was there a little bit, not as much. And then when you go down here, you got the reds and you could see how it kind of hit there and kind of candled itself out. So you got to kind of use both other than just only use one. And that's why this that's why. Like you have a major resistance levels right here at 11 of 30,000 shares and not only is that guy out there there were over a quarter million shares that were traded over the, the duration of that time zone that I had so let me kind of explain to you here on the book map let me bring up a live feed of book map this always works so here we have here we go we're going to look at um, this one right here okay so anyway, and let me zoom out over here. Okay. So basically you could see there's been a, uh, let me go back further. Okay. So you could see right here that from 930 this morning, there's been this seller that's been sitting there all day at $69. Okay. You see that right there at 69, 69. You see how it gets red when I zoom in. I use the mouse to roll in, right, roll out. You had a major resistance levels here at 65, busted through 65. And it went all the way to 69. Why did it stop at 69? Because there was a there was a 20,000 share seller out there. But do you notice the CVP um, says 7,000? Does everybody know why it says seven? There's more here and less there. Anybody know why? Because what because exactly what what Bruce said, these are transactions, right? There was only seven thousand of those shares sold. There's still twenty one thousand out there. There's still twenty one thousand shares ready to be sold. Okay, that is the reason for that. Hold on, let me just X out of some of these things here because uh, AMD and Nikki. Let me just take some of these things out here. So getting back to this, there's still 21,000 shares that are looking to be sold. So 
it kind of goes both ways. You kind of look at what happened in the past and see what actually got executed. So, so but by the way, does anyone have any questions about that? Um, okay, it looks like, okay, so I a couple of questions here. Um, looks like the move has ordered down since it got filled, Tom said. Right, but the guys are still out there. Remember, you can't break through this resistance until you take out that 21,000 shares, but only 7,000 of the duration of what I'm looking here, which is I think it's like a six hour one, only 7,000 shares of that 21,000 uh, got executed. Uh, Response to selling 69 was too expensive. Uh, class of volume profit. I don't know time to be a little more specific on your answer, but the thing is this, you have to kind of use both windows that could offset to know, are these orders getting filled or not filled? Because what's going to happen is this, what happens if this stock breaks through 69, right? What happens if it breaks through 69? Two things have to happen. Somebody has to execute that 20,000, which will come over here in the CVP or the guy's gonna cancel. Now, we know when you break through a resistance level, we go to the next resistance and that resistance becomes a support level. So that's why when you notice as the day goes on, this CDP number starts to grow where the resistance levels don't until you break them. Uh, I guess Tom, that's a uh, Tom has a question for you, Bruce. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, let's see here. Um, does DX feed uh, load historical data? Yes, it does. Uh, that is backfill data. Um, and when you bring up the chart, uh, just like Fausto uh, demonstrated there with uh, with Naked, uh, he put in six hours of backfill data, Tom. And that, that comes with, right. the, with the subscription. So right here, you can notice if I really want to, I can go 24 hours, which is right here. You, this is how you do that. So I click 24 hours. So I click subscribe problem is going to ask for a lot of data. So it takes a little time to upload. So which is awesome about this is that, you know what, sometimes you, you, you trade a stock and the stock was very volatile yesterday and it might continue to today. So sometimes yesterday's data is very, very important when it comes to that. Let me, um, let me find a, a stock that we traded today that's actually has some good volatility. Uh, what do we got going on here? Yeah, this one's actually doing, this one's got crazy volume. Let me X out of this. Let me look at uh, GNUS this is one that we traded. And I'm gonna click over here, I'm gonna look at 24 hours. Cause that one's a lot, that, that thing's, that stock went from two to 12, came back down to two and now it's back up to almost $4. So great volatility on that one. Uh, okay, let's see if it loaded. Still loading historical data. See, it's a lot of data. That's the only bad thing about when, you, when, when you're trying to like look at, sometimes you don't, you don't want to load up 24 hours data, um, but if you want to, you could. Sometimes it, because it, it'll, it'll, it'll eat up a lot. Still loading. Yeah, I mean, okay. they're, they're just a, a little bit of an explanation on that. Um, when you load a candlestick chart, you're you're loading just the 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 close of that um uh of of the price right you know or the transaction price so it's only one level uh here in bookmap yeah. you can see i mean he zoomed out and looking at all the price levels they are all live any update in the order book is recorded so we're now talking not about just you know hundreds of data points now we're talking about millions right you see millions okay so uh let me uh, let me X out of this, and let me go back to just to show you how I kind of utilize it. All right. So now the next thing I want to point out too regarding about using Bookmap is that you see these bowls right here. Okay. So if you right mouse click and you click the volume dots, okay, uh, what happens is the dots sometimes make almost like a trend line. And I, you know, another a little tool that I do is um is uh. I like to change this to, let's say, a thousand. Or sometimes, you know, depending on the volatility of the stock, you know, I might even do ten thousand. But let's just use a thousand, 
for example. Hold on here. TPW. All right, so I click over here, click on volume dots, change it to a thousand, click apply. And you'll start seeing the dots now all of a sudden, they change. So I don't need to see every tick, okay? I like to, I like to just focus on you know, the big block orders. And now you can see how the bulls, obviously how they change, where you can see the green is a little bit smaller than the red, and you can see a little bit more selling pressure. So kind of, it kind of, it, it's, if you ever look at, let me bring this up really quick for you. Time and sales. See time and sales right here? So we're looking at, you see how it's showing you like every single print on this? So sometimes it's overwhelming. And, you know, if you eliminate a lot of the, you know, let's say that there's ways of customizing your time and sales and say, you know what, I just want to see thousand share orders because what happens, the time and sales are very important tool which, by the way, you do get it in the book map also. But when you have a lot of data coming across, it kind of like makes it very difficult to, to see transactions that are taking place. All right. But uh, getting back to this, getting back to this um, Zoom trade, okay, and just kind of show you how things break out, I just want to point another one, another big strategy that we have right here. You see right here how the stock had a a bar right here, and it tells you tells you how many shares, and we're on the bid and ask right here. As we move on, you see how that or you see that green bar, that green ball. That guy got executed. The guy got executed, and then sure enough, look at the stock goes to the next resistance. Backed off a little bit, but the guy wasn't there anymore. You could see it right there; he wasn't there anymore. Guy very little. Busted right through it, went to this guy right here. A lot of orders got executed. You had a little bit of selling pressure. Guy came back a little bit. You know, he's still out there, backed off, tried to go back. Guy came back and so on. So, but you notice that the biggest resistance level is right here at 232. You got to use the heat map and you got to see how many orders are out there and how many orders get executed. Where does this all lead to? Having a game plan. Remember, your goal is to make money. Your goal is not to lose money. <laughs> your goal is to make money. How do you have, how do you have a goal to make money? You got to have a game plan. You got to know where these buyers and sellers are. And you got because remember, you're just the ants on the floor. You're just trying to make the crumbs. And with the bookmap platform, you're getting those tools that are going to help you, you know, eliminate a lot of that a lot of that noise and not preparing what happened, you know, in the past. But most importantly, how to predict the future. You know, I I don't know if I could say this any better, but I use this I use this um, this theory every time I use my I do my my webinars, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask everybody. You ever you ever feel like when you ever did a trade, you feel like someone's watching you? It's like every time you buy it, the thing goes down, and every time you sell it, it goes up. Has that ever happened to anyone? You ever feel that way? Just a couple of yeses or no. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's like, damn it, why do I bought it right now? The damn thing goes down. And like, you know what? I can't take the heat. I got to sell. Let me get out. And then all of a sudden, boom, the thing goes up. Ira Hatton, Tom, Paul, yes. Paul says, before book map. That's exactly where I was leading to. But before I was going to say that, it's not that they're watching you. You are not watching them. And that's what Bookmap does. You're watching those orders out there. Because at the end of the day, you're just guessing. You're working on previous data that's telling you where to get in, when to get out. Forget about the previous data. You got to know where they're getting. You got to know where they are. And you have to keep in mind, anybody here trading 5,400 shares of Zoom, Anybody here trading 50, anybody trading, um, you know, have a limit order right now, putting out, what is that? 
a million dollars, more than a million dollars worth of stock on an idea? I don't think so. And if you are, you probably wouldn't be here. But you know what? You could watch them. Knowing that he's got an order out there, ready to sell, that is how we utilize the book map at Cyber Trade University. You follow the money. But to follow the money, you first have to know what's moving, what's going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Once you get that out of the way, and understand the trend. And then the next thing is having the book map to know, okay, where you get in. Now, I know we have a lot of students here from, from Cyber Trade University, and you guys know me very well, and we do this all the time. I would never bring up a stock on Bookmap. I don't care what the stock is doing without even making sure knowing what I'm risking. You understand? You can't jump into a stock without knowing what the stock is doing first. You got to have a game plan. You could, you know, you got to know what the risk to reward is because some stocks are more volatile than others. I mean, this stock, look, look, look at this stock right here um, that we traded, This uh, we're, we're trading right now, NKLA. The stock went from 60 in, in 45 minutes to 90, uh, 690, $9, okay? Everyone likes a $9 move, but could you afford chasing it at 69 and now the stock's at 65? Imagine having 1,000 shares of that stock, 1,000 shares. How's that working out for you? Could you take a $4,000 loss? I don't think so. And that's the way how you have to look at it. All right, now, um, by the way, does anyone have any questions? Anybody have any questions, by the way? Uh, yeah, there's a question uh, Jack is asking about <clears throat> um, how you filter uh, for your stocks in the, in the morning, looking at some of these big movers. Okay, that's a great question. So let me bring up the, uh, a trading platform uh, and show you what we're talking about. So listen, you're more than, guys, you're more than welcome. I'm gonna invite every single one of you to come to my trading room, okay? Because I'm not here, like I said, I'm not here to brag and talk about, look, I traded this, I traded that, I traded this, you know, what did you trade? You know, that, that, that to me, that's, that's an ego. That, that doesn't make you money, right? What we teach is called the three uh, T's. The three T's are this. Tradable, friend, and trap. Has everybody got that? Tradable, trend, and trap. So the first T is going out there and making sure. The, the, is the stock at a good spread? Like we're looking at uh, GNUS. Penny spread. Do we have good volume? You know, 85 million shares. Could we get in and out of it? That is, that's the first T because you didn't make any money until you sell it. You, once you buy it, you're a loser. Why you are a loser? Because for you to sell it, you got for you to buy it, you got to sell it to somebody. And if you looked at a stock like, I don't know, here, RETA, if you bought a thousand, if you bought a hundred shares of the stock, you're lucky if you can get at six a one sixty five eighty two. And if you're wrong, you got to sell it to a buyer. You're talking about almost a thirty cent spread. So you're already down down a lot of money in that position all right so that's the first t the second t okay the second t is trend you got to make sure you got a stock that's got a nice trend to it making sure you're on, on the right side not the wrong side once you accomplish that and by the way this this is what we do in our in our trading room because you can see there's a lot of stocks that are moving look this stock's up 300 percent would I trade it right now? Absolutely not. It's not going anywhere. Uh, wins, okay. Would I trade the stock? I mean, only trade 300,000 shares. No, even though it's up 23%. Look at the spread. It's like $2. So going out there and trying to use Bookmap for that, just wasting your time. The third T is once you find a stock that is tradable, less risk, more reward, then we go to the Bookmap and then we check it out and say, okay, what's this stock doing? All right. Any other any other questions? Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, can you on the? Uh, oh, okay, was it on another stock that you had open that Tom was requesting you uh, look at the uh, uh, session range volume profile. Um, but 
<clears throat> you've since closed that that stock. Um, so let's see here. Um, yeah, we have about like five more minutes. I know you guys uh, got a couple of questions, so just feel free to kind of tell me you got, if anybody has any other questions. So we could kind of be happy to answer them. I got to because I, I actually I have to start. A, we have our own cyber expo that starts at twelve o'clock, which I got to get ready for. Uh, <laughs> got okay. like a four person okay. event that's yeah, coming so up. Yeah, so please, guys, get your questions in. Um, uh, I um, just a, a few uh, remarks here. Um, Fausto, it's just it's really fantastic to watch and see how um, you know you're applying your um, uh, uh, you know your dome trading uh, now to Bookmap, uh, and then looking at it and getting the bigger picture of like it historically. It's like well, this is where this is where they were before. They're still in the book. Uh, maybe they added more. I mean, uh, uh, for you, it's just like almost like one big dome. Uh, but uh, uh, giving you the price structure and volume on it uh, as well. Uh, so well, you, uh, ha you have you have to keep in mind, you know, uh, Bruce, that you know me for for a long time, okay? And then we just happily just re reconnected when Bookmap came out. And let me tell you, like, I, there's nothing that I could speak, you know, and give the highest, you know, and and thank you guys for coming out with this platform because this is what I've been trying to build for 25 years, and no one could build it. But the problem that people have today is that everyone wants to spend money on technology, but they don't want to learn how to trade, okay? So you having the book map is worthless if you're not trading with people that are using it, you know, and knowing how to use it correctly. Because you're going to sit there and just watch Amazon all day, okay? Let me know how that works out for you at the, you know, at the end of the day. Because it, it does, it's, it's, it, you got to have a team of traders that are using it and that's what makes you better. So having the platform is one thing. Trading with people that are very successful at it is another. All right. Uh, John says I I I've heard of this until I have uh, never heard of this until uh, I heard of Fausto and, and Josh started using it. John. Well, listen, like I told you, it's it's one of our one of our three T's that we use in our trading profile. Um, but like I told you guys. I know we got all different types of people in the market, options, Forex, futures. You know, the system works great, but unless you have somebody that's using it all day long, it's kind of wasting your time, okay? So uh, let me um, let me just give you finish up so I can kind of get everyone registered because, like I said, I'm sorry to cut you short, but just like it is – I don't know about you, Bruce, but it has just been so overwhelming here at Cybertrain University – Everybody wants to start trading. I mean, I know you're in New York City. I mean, you de definitely have a tough day being quarantined. But here, I mean, a lot of people are listening to this all over the world. They don't understand. I mean, some of you envision it and see it, but everybody wants to learn how to trade. I mean, between the coronavirus and, you know, and everyone has to stay home and being laid off and everything, it is just has been remarkable of the interest of people who want to start learning how to trade. And you know what? You should. You should start taking matters in your own hands. And it's never too late to learn. But you got to learn how to play the game. That's the most important part. So I just want to finish off, everybody, uh, just this one last thing. You know, if you want me to see me how I use the book map in the real market conditions, you could watch us on YouTube live every morning at 9 a.m. And we also do it at 2.30. Uh, but if you want to come and join me live in my professional trading room, um, you more, everyone's more than welcome. We do live commentary. We use the platform exclusively and you'll see us how it looks like in the trading room. So you know exactly why we're getting in and out of these positions. Um, you know, I'm not here to, to, to sell anybody and anything crazy, but listen, we just want to know who you are. Uh, if you want to do that, it's just $9 for a one week trial and, uh, 49 after that. So, and like I said, if you don't want to continue, you're more than happy to, and it's money back guarantee, but You'll have access to our trading videos on how we use Bookmap. You know, it's kind of hard to teach someone in 45 minutes how to make money. We could just spark your interest. But if you if you like what you hear, you want to know the real truth about the trading, and you want to see you know, see not me, but watch the hundreds of people that are in our room to use it every day, then this is your chance to look into it. All right. And by the way, if you do register, at the end of the week, I will do a coaching class for everyone here. Uh, for the first 20 people, obviously. And then, you know, and then we'll go from there and we'll talk about it. Listen, the goal is, is trying to find people that are successful at it. 
that want to make money doing this. We can find people that are successful at it. We'll, we'll, we'll do great. All right. Uh, any last minute questions? I got about another minute or two. Any, anything else? Um, well, Humphrey's uh, uh, saying here that um, uh, he, he was looking more for kind of like how you, um, uh, 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 you know, trade a bit. But and then Humphrey, I mean, like, uh, I think he, he covered that. He was showing you like, uh, you know, support and resistance uh, areas there. Where That's where he wants to deal. Uh, and then he's also showing like, well, did it transact there? Uh, you know, are there are there are there trades that took place there? Uh, and uh, mixing that uh, understanding of the volume transacting as well as are they still in the book there? Um, and then looking for you know wh wh if if it if it's bullish and you start to see the buyers starting to come in, well you're looking for it to go back up into uh, the, the high liquidity that's on the offer. And once again, until you see live in the market, I mean, we did show a couple of live things. Right now, personally, it's kind of slow time of the market. That's why we're doing these events right now. Most of the action happens right at 8 a.m. in the morning. And that's when you like us, day traders, we only trade the first hour and the last hour. This is not a full-time job, all right? And, um, you know, and, and listen, uh, re regarding some of the, you know, uh, the comments in the trading room, uh, you know, listen, I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, uh, you know, using the word someone used BS out there. The only way you're going to know this is come and check it out yourself and look at it. All right. The worst thing that could happen is that you learn something and you find out trading's not for you. So before you actually go out there and make a big investment, get new computers, new programs, new everything, you got to surround yourself with good traders and you got to do very well. And you and if you really like this this platform, which you shouldn't like it, you should be drooling on it. You should be very thankful every day for bookmap to even come out with it um you got to use it right you got to use it right otherwise you're just wasting your time and remember it's not you know an indicator it's a software it's different and that's what that people have to understand all right all right guys so um thank you so much for being here bruce thank you for having me here it's always a pleasure uh you know you having me on bookmap and uh and and you know and Thank everyone from your staff for coming out with this platform because it really has changed my life too. I've made so much money on this platform, uh, and there's not a day goes by I can't live without it. You know, you know me. I'm like I'm probably your first phone call and say, "Hey, what's going on? We up? Are we down? What's going on?" So <laughs> it's a uh, it's definitely changed the you know changed everybody. So to keep up the good work and everybody here, thank you so much for coming here. And just remember, everybody, to be successful in trading, you have to learn before you can earn. So don't lose this opportunity. You know, with, with what's going on with the market, you saw one of the biggest rallies out there. Go out there and maybe it's time for a new career. What, what do you have to lose? But you got to do it right the first time. Thanks, everybody. And uh, look forward to seeing you all in the trading room.